Good morning, everyone. It is November 15th, and the anniversary two years ago when I shot my big Kansas buck, and we're back in Kansas, and we're back out of nostalgia. I'm going to go sit in the same tree for this morning at least, and, and then we'll... Uh, and then we'll readjust if if need be. But I just uh, feel like I should just go sit back in the same tree because it's, uh, it's a good memory and it'll be fun. So it's 17 degrees, quite a bit different weather than we had two years ago. So we're going to get in the tree and uh, get set up before light, see what happens. Just got to the tree. We're going to get, we're going to get up in this. Still plenty dark outside, but uh, it is cold and it is quiet. A little bit of a fiasco getting up here. This tree got very overgrown with thorn. Like this thorn tree is like all around it. So it was just a fiasco and I'm all cut up. But we're up in the tree now and man, it feels weird being back in this tree after, after that buck and that video and everything. It's cool to be back at least for this morning. I don't know what we'll do after this, but um, I did drop Caitlin off. She's at a different piece. Um, but she's hunting with me this week. I just had a coyote come by. We're gonna we're gonna rattle here and see if we can pull something. There's a little tiny bit of timber right here, but where we're sitting is mainly just a ditch. Um, and it's just one of those things where out here in Kansas, it's just bucks run these ditches, and uh, it's just like a waiting game in a matter of time for ones just out looking for does running a ditch, pretty much. So. We can see a lot. We'll be able to call pretty good to some stuff. So, see if we can uh, see if we see anything. Haven't seen a deer. It's uh, almost nine o'clock now. It is very cold. Like very, very cold. At least it's not windy. I'm gonna rattle again now for my second time, see if we can't get anything. Just got down. It's uh, probably 10 o'clock. I wanna move though. I wanna maybe even go pick Caitlin up at her spot drive around, scout some more. We just want to, I want to find some new stuff. Um, did not see a deer and I can see a lot of stuff. So it's like, I feel like it's one of those things where like lightning doesn't strike twice in the same spot. I mean like last year was such a random thing or two years ago was such a random thing that I really want to find something new. So we'll see. But uh, at the very least, I'm gonna move trees there's better trees around. Well, we met up with Miss Caitlin Moss. She's running camera. We're out driving around. Just trying to find some new stuff. I don't know, we're, we're uh, trying to explore our horizons, try to find something. Just using this midday, it's really cold. It's warmed up now, it's 37 now, but um, we're gonna get in it. We're gonna find something and get in a tree here shortly. Here's the situation, boys and girls. Caitlin and I are gonna sit together tonight on the permission piece we just got. It's literally just this ditch with, uh, it's maybe 100 yards wide. Not but it, even. Not even, it, but it's connecting a, a good chunk with another good chunk. It's just like a 100 acres with this ditch running through it. So we're gonna sit together um, and this dude was complaining about deer. And the thing about this guy is he was like, he hates deer. And we're like, well, we have doe tags, so we might um, shoot a doe if it comes by just to kind of help him out and it might open the door for some other stuff who knows to Show that we care. And we watched a doe mm. not this piece, but the I don't know not even a half mile Yeah. Up from it. She ran in towards us. So 
So, I think that's what we're going to do. Both bring our bows, both sit together, and maybe we'll double up. Maybe we won't see a deer. Both are possible. <laughs> Trying to find a tree to get in real quick. It's always a battle, especially on a new piece. Just had a little buck come in while we were setting up. We're all up in the tree, and when we were setting up, we saw that little buck, or that, it, it wasn't little. He was, a, he was a good eight point. And, uh, we like where we're at. We're, tr we're making this tree work. We're not an awesome tree, but I think we're gonna see some deer tonight because we're just sitting on this ditch in this giant bean field. So I think we're gonna see deer in this bean field. It's just if they're gonna come in, come in close enough. I'm really, really hoping for a double. That'd be crazy. the weather report cold it's very cold but we're gonna get in um new spot once again we're gonna get in today and uh sit the rest of the day and see what happens just found a tree looked for quite a while but we have uh we have this ag field i'm pretty sure it's winter wheat popping up um so i'm assuming that deer are gonna be hitting that and all back in here we have like a, a big cedar um, it's kind of like a, maybe a 20 acre thick cedar patch right there. Then we got kind of river bottom right here. So I don't know, it all kind of pinches down. Um, I'm just going to get in this tree right here, kind of a semi straight tree and semi, uh, semi open. I had a hard time trying to find something. So we're just going to get in it and just see what happens. All set up in the tree really didn't take too long it was a pretty easy tree to get into like i was saying there's just this good thick cedar looking bedding all on this side and then there's another creek bottom that runs on this side so kind of unfortunately my wind's blowing the creek bottom on this side but it's a lot of good bedding looking stuff here and there and i really didn't want my wind blowing on that so there's a chance we a deer might be cruising this creek bottom but I feel like there's a better chance that something's gonna be up in this bedding and kind of run in the downwind side of that bedding rather than this river, but could be totally wrong. We have the full buffet today. We have um, a uh, Uncrustable. We also have a burrito. Also notice, I can't take it out of the package without taking a bite. And then, we have Pop-Tarts. That is my mid-afternoon lunch. I've seen no deer. It's about three o'clock. All right, it's a new day and Caitlin and I spent like the whole morning just driving around and scouting, trying to find new stuff. And we found this piece um, kind of Kind of off the the beaten path so we're gonna we're gonna bomb in here caitlin and i it's midday now and sit the rest of the day and hopefully find a good enough spot that hopefully we can get in it tomorrow morning um, but we're just running into so many hunters like way more hunters than we were experiencing when we were here two years ago uh, in kansas so it's uh it's made it challenging like every piece literally has someone on it so uh, but we're gonna bomb in here and see if we can see some good signs and see what type of deer we see. Okay, here's our situation. We got this cattle pond right here 
and then we have a cattle fence that kind of surrounds it and then there's this thick cedar thicket it's kind of small it's maybe 10 or so acres but this cattle trail there's a couple deer tracks on it and it kind of just really pinches them down right here and I got this little cedar tree right here I think I'm gonna try to get in it and uh, I can at least overlook all around this cattle pond and uh, I don't know the winds good it'll be blowing over the pond and maybe we'll get a buck walking right by this fence post well we're way up <laughs> way up about 10 feet in this cedar tree there's no trees in here to get in but I have so much cover around me and there's a great pinch point at about 10 yards right here a couple deer tracks on it a couple big tracks honestly I really like where I'm at I use no sticks getting up I just climbed the branches and I just kind of tucked and pushed a couple branches out of the way and I got a shooting lane at 10 yards and I can shoot shoot out a little bit but I'll see what happens I don't know I'll sit tight and when the wind dies down we'll rattle and see if anything's bedded in the cedar thicket and other than that it's just a really good pinch so let's see light it's probably been light for about a half hour have seen zero deer so that's good see how long we can sit out here before we freeze to death loaded down headed in afternoon sit well it's afternoon of day four we moved to our permission piece that we got a couple days ago and uh got set up there was two little button bucks way over in the field when I was getting set up at about 2.30 but <clears throat> this is such a random spot like it's just if it happens it's gonna be kind of random we're just this year out here it's just been again just so many hunters and uh, this little permission piece is really the only spot where we can for sure go and not have to worry about anyone but Hoping something comes out to this cut bean field. It's really cold today still, so I'm hoping this cold weather really pushes them out. November 19th. Back in our... Uh permission bean field been light for about 20 minutes i've not seen a deer yet but i'm gonna rattle see if we can pull something from this little bit of timber over here I haven't seen a deer it's really cool i'm packing up we're moving spots midday well caitlin and i spent most of the day driving around and looking at some new spots and some new area and actually got a tip from a buddy about this piece and we drove around it and it's not a whole lot to it but um it's basically one draw but we got set up we got out here um a little later than i wanted to but we spent most of the day just trying to find something else so Caitlin's actually set up. There's a tiny little draw on the other side of this property, so Caitlin's set up there. I'm set up here. Well, it's a final morning here in Kansas. We're back in the same spot. We were last night. Didn't see any deer last night. Um, but I feel like this is a better <clears throat> better morning spot just because it's it's just a cruising spot. Um, but we don't have very long. We just have a couple hours before we got to go.
go back to the hotel and check out and everything so hopefully we got a buzzer beater here at the end honestly I'm not too optimistic but you never know all right guys so it is quite a bit longer after our Kansas trip but we're put together this video and realized we never did an outro which I'm kind of thankful for because um gave me time to like reflect on that trip reflect on a few things and Kansas and places in general um have, have been uh public publicized about you know different YouTube channels different social medias and everything it's like people go out and hunt they film their hunts and they they show where they're at and everything and quite frankly it can ruin spots it can ruin states for you know local hunters local people and people that have been doing it forever maybe had the spot forever um and it's very much a double-edged sword with that sort of stuff and um we saw it big time in kansas this year it was a combination of uh covid year and um just everything kansas popularity in general but when we hunted there two years ago we saw no one else we saw like one other out-of-state plates when we went in November 15th, we were there like November 15th through uh, like the 20th or the 21st. Hunted like all day, every day. Same exact about spot and uh, saw so many people this year. And um, I mean like dozens, not just like two or three or four now, but there was like dozens. So um, yeah, is, is public hunting like land ruined? Um, I don't think it's ruined, but the popularity of it, especially the past few years, have just been through the roof, and and it makes it a lot tougher to get on good deer, good animal, like any sort of animal in general, just because it's it's going through like a fad, and you know public land is cool, which it is cool, it's awesome, you can go out there, but there's only so much public land, and uh, you know we experience it firsthand of there being just a lot of people trying to do you know the kansas public land thing so i don't know you know going forward i don't know how we're gonna hunt kansas you know maybe you know like to have a good enjoyable experience we might have to look into some private options you know in future years and and no longer do the thing because like five days in the rut and not even seeing a decent deer was like very concerning um so yeah that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed it didn't really we we even thought about you know, not posting this video because literally nothing happened, but I was thinking, you know, like we got to show it all, you know, we got to show the trips that, that aren't so hot and Kansas was definitely not hot this year. So it is what it is, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you in the next one.